Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to discuss the answer of very important question that what should you do when you join as a fresher in a company for the role of software testing, right? Now, many people are asking me that when you are a fresher, then what all things we should do, what all things we should not do, and that too as a software tester. So uh, let's let's look at this particular scenario in this video. But before that, if you are watching this video for the very first time, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel. How and what to do if you are joining a company as a fresher for the role of software test or QA, right? Okay. Okay, now you have joined a company, right? Now, the very first thing that would happen is uh, the induction would be conducted in which you would be uh, given the knowledge about the company, the overview about the business that they are doing, the various products, the various projects that they are having, right? So those kind of overview you would be given. Now, the very important thing over here is you have to understand the project in detail in which you are going to do testing right it can if it's a service based company you will be uh, working in some project if it's a product based company you will be working in the working for some product so whether it is a project or whether it's a project product you have to take the max to max knowledge about each and every functionality each and every feature that is there in that project in which you are going to work as a tester second thing is get in touch right during the induction period itself with your QA team right when I say QA team so it also means QA lead QA managers who are there in the company so do some networking right talk to them uh, approach them and ask them how is the uh, how are the things going on from the QA side? Do they have any test automation tool available? Do they have uh, only manual testing or uh, they also do some automation? So those kind of uh, those kind of conversation you should be a part of when you join some particular company, right? And and you should approach them during induction period only. It should not happen that during the induction for two to three weeks, you remain in your silos and you just get in touch with the HR and one or two member here or there. But it is very important that you get into touch with the QA team, with the QA members working over there, with the QA lead, with the QA managers. First, be a part, be in touch with the team with whom you are going to work with. And then you can get in touch with the people who are working as a QA in other projects also. That will also help. I'll tell you how and when it will help. So let's say if you are made, if you are put in some project A, right? And then that project A is, uh, there is a cost cutting or the billing is declined for two or three members, right? And you are also part of that decline. So then you were moved to project B. Right. So if you have done this kind of networking, it will help you to shift very smoothly, very easily from one project to another project. Right. This is fine. So this is why networking is very important. Third thing that once you are a part of the QA team, then open the bug tracking tool, the defect management tool. Right. And from defect management tool, you will come to know about the types of issues that are being logged. Now, as you are a new member, as you are a fresher, so you have to focus on the issues logged by clients so far and issues logged by your QED, right? So these are two kinds of issues. One are the issues which are being created from the client side. So basically when client was testing, so they found that uh, this particular service in your product is not working. So they locked a ticket or this particular log files are not having sufficient information, so they lock the ticket. So you will come to know the mindset, the level of the client with what respect of quality has been expected, right? Now coming to the QA team issues. So you should always 
observe the issues that are locked within the QA team also so that you don't lock the duplicate issues. And second thing is to get an idea about what kind of issues are being caught, to what level the unit testing has been done, to what level the development has been done. Right. Okay. Then you should also go through test cases, test scenarios, which are being written, documented, and also reviewed by lead. So if it has been reviewed, then that whole that holds some sense, right? Because you should not be review, you should not be going through the test cases which are just written by the QAD members. Otherwise, if they would have done some mistakes, you will be repeating the same. Now the point is. You are hired as a fresher, so you don't have to have to commit any silly mistakes. So some of the member are doing some mistakes, so you don't have to commit those mistakes. You should stand out from the group with which you are working. So test cases or test scenarios which are already reviewed by the lead, those you should you should review. You should go through those test cases, right? Then you should play with the test data. You should create some test data. So what, what it would help is, let's say if your application has uh, a feature in which the file is to be uploaded or folder is to be uploaded. So you create types of uh, test data with respect to file. You can create a, a 1 KB file, 100 KB file, 1 MB, 1 GB file, and you can also create zero, no need to create. So it's obvious, zero KB file you will also get. Then create a file with Chinese character, create a file with Unicode characters, ASCII characters, and then see how it is getting uploaded. So work on this kind of test data, right? So this will actually help you to get into the speed when you are getting the, re the, the story or user story or functionality to test in a real time, right? But this you should do when you join in the company as a fresher for the role of software tester. So I hope this video will help you. This was a question asked by one of the person i don't know whether he has subscribed our channel or not but um, he had asked in the comment section that what to do and how to do if you are joining as a company as a fresher for the role of qa software tester right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates